Hi, I'm Dan, and welcome to another guest review for geekanoids.co.uk and their YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash geekanoids. Today, I'm actually reviewing uh, another iPad app, and this is another music creation app, and it is called LoopSeek. Now, at first, I was a bit baffled by the name because I really couldn't work out how to pronounce it. It's spelt L-O-O-P-S-E-Q-U-E, and I guess that it kind of was saying loop and sequence, so... I went with LoopSeek. I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced, but, you know, I'm calling it LoopSeek. So if we open up LoopSeek, um, we see that it is, uh, well, it's got a quite nice kind of logo and splash screen. And um, I actually quite like the interface. This is one of the things that I, I really like about the app is that it's, it's quite simple to get your head around. And um, it also comes with some masterclasses. Now, uh, these masterclasses are quite good just to... Um, you know, explain the app a little bit better than if you were just, you know, kind of having a play. And, you know, you can really get the most of it with these masterclasses. And these are completely free. This is part of the app um, that you purchase from the App Store. Now, uh, I will just say before I start making any kind of noise that it actually has um, a direct line coming out of the iPad and into my audio interface. So the audio that you're hearing through the YouTube video is the audio that is being produced by the iPad. It's not going through a microphone and a speaker and everything. So this is as clear and as good as it's going to get. Now, um, I'm actually just going to quit out of these tutorials. but I'm just going to create a new project. Now, yep, create a new project. Now, you'll see here that we've got these circles. And this is really kind of what the app orientates around. We've got these circles. And at, the, uh, at, at any one time, you've kind of got these four beats going at the same time. So let's start a drum beat. And I really like the simplicity of this app. It, you, you've just got to tap in different places and you can start making some beats. And I'll be honest, it's really hard to make something that doesn't sound that great. I'm just going to turn down the beats a little bit. So now we've got this kind of drum beat going. We can add in a bass. So... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Now, this kind of noise that uh, it's creating is very typical of the uh, noises that you will find on uh, on LoopSeek. It's uh, a fairly sort of synthesizer-based sound, even on the drum beat as well as the bass. But you can see how it works. It's really easy. I'm just kind of poking wherever I want. But I don't really like that one there. So, you know, you can just adjust very easily by tapping. If we go into uh, some more kind of generic percussion, we can tap round. Now, just to explain this, you'll see that it's got this kind of uh, radar-like thing panning round, and that is the uh, that's the, the time, if you will, that is uh, ticking round. And every time it hits it, it'll it'll flash on the screen, and it'll play the sound associated with that. Now, as we get further out, we get different sounds. So this sound is different to that one, which is different from that one, which is different from that one. So. That's how we create the, uh, the different sounds. But if we have two together there, they will simply play at the same time. So that's just, you know, kind of how you get your head around it. And then the lead is going to be some kind of melody. So let's just... And you'll hear that even though I've just been prodding randomly and hoping for the best, it's actually sounding quite good, which um, is definitely an upside to this app. Now, if I just... Um, so that you can see the, uh, the settings of this. We can change the beats per minute here, or we can tap out a rhythm. So, um... Good, because I was aiming for about 130 there, so there you go. My body isn't too bad. So, you can hear that we create quite an upbeat sort of thing, or we can really kind of slow it down and have it wherever we want. So we've got a nice wide spectrum of beats per minute to have, which is nice. Now, these sample sets that you see here um, dictates which sounds come from, uh, from which presses in the circle. So if we just um, go back to these circles, these are all from a uh, sound pack called Dancing Chords. But we can change that to uh, Raindrops. And the same beat all of a sudden sounds very different just from the sound that we've uh, that we've changed it to. Now it does come with lots of sounds included, which is very good. However, um, as yet I haven't found a way of um, adding new samples. So let's just save this project and we'll call it uh, Geek 
test. And there it is saved. So that if we want to come back to that rhythm later, show it to uh, you know whoever, we can easily uh, we can easily do that. Now um, this here is a very easy and dynamic way of changing between beats that you've already loaded. So this lead that we've got in here at the moment sounds like it does. But if we want to create another one but still have that there so that we can easily flick to it, we can just tap in another uh, lead rhythm and change between the two whenever we want. And we can do that with all of the drum, bass, percussion and lead. Now, um, a few minor gripes. You can only have drum, bass, percussion and lead. You can't have more than four layers, which can feel a little bit limiting at times. Also, for people that really would like to create something, you know, that could be a, a, a real sound, like um, something that you'd play through speakers or whatever, this really, I wouldn't say that this is the app for you. It's fairly limiting with the, um, the sounds that it can produce, as they're all fairly similar to these sounds that you're hearing at the moment. So, um, LoopSeek can be uh, found on the uh, the App Store, obviously, for uh, $4.99 or £2.99, which I think is quite a good price, considering the uh, the number of packs that you get with it. Um, I'm not aware of any way of expanding on these packs at the moment, though, which is a shame. Maybe they'll come come up with that later with some, uh, some in-app purchases. Um, so, yeah, I think it represents quite good value, but it is fairly limiting, and I reckon... Um, this could be quite good if you're looking to get into the kind of beat creation uh, apps on the iPad, but I would probably recommend something maybe more like uh, like GrooveMaker if you're looking for a more advanced app, because this, um, as I say, can be a little bit limiting if you're looking for something that offers you a little bit more musical freedom. But overall, I think I'm quite pleased with it, and it's dead easy to start making sounds, which is always a good thing. So this has been my review of LoopSeek for the iPad uh, for the Geek Noise channel. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.